So what we're going to look at now is one of the overlooked parts of the uh, of the blues. Um, you should be able to do intros and outros. In other words, you should be able to start the groove or the tune uh, with lots of variations. Because um, obviously if you're playing blues, a lot of it will be in the keys of E, A or G. Then we'll, we'll look at all three. But we should be able to finish it uh, an ending and let the band know or the listener that we, we have finished the piece. Um, so there are lots and lots of cliches. Uh, what I want to share with you is a lot of the ones that, um, that I do. And again, I would urge you to take parts of them and shuffle them, swap them about. So we'll, we'll look at um, as many as we can in the key of E here. So first one we'll do, very, very simple one, one finger. That's probably the best place to start. Fifth fret on the fifth string and the open high E. And we're just going to move down one fret at a time till we arrive on the second fret. Very, very simple. I'll do that again for you. Again, we can change the rhythm. And we usually finish then, if we're going to launch into the blues, always finish with the five chord. And that's just ready to start the tune. Okay. Let's look at another simple one. Strings three and one on frets four. This is a sixth interval. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to move it down chromatically. Stop. Hammer. On the third string, first fret. High E. And we can play our low E at the same time. And our five chord. And that was simply a climb up. And chord. Oop. Let's try that one again. Okay. Let's look at some variations on that one. This one we move down, but as we move down, close in the second finger on the second fret on the second string. Let's listen. Then take it off. Let's look at another one. Fifth fret, fifth string. Fourth fret, third string. And hit our high E. Do both of those strings simultaneously. And you can slide into them. Move them down. Down. E. And our five chord. Let me play that neater for you. Do variations on that. Where I push the first string. Now this idea of adding another note, it could have been anything. It could have been a lick, if you had time. So that's one that can be Fairly tricky, but try some different ideas and add them to it. Another variation on that one would be same opening lick, only this time instead of moving down chromatically, move down, but change the fingering to fret four, fret two. So we have that shape. One finger, third fret, fifth string, and open G. That's a lovely one. And the hammer followed by the five chord.
okay another one let's have a look sixth string and the third string fourth fret down chromatically and E If you notice, I'm just hitting the, the high E. And again, you can give it different rhythms. Don't forget that five chord, that's your bringing you back. <laughs> 